Hello, everyone. Welcome to day seven of 30 Days, 30 Tips on Productivity. And today we are talking about rest. To match with the seventh day of this uh, challenge, I will talk about seven types of rest. Before we do that, let me kindly remind you to please like this video and subscribe to this channel and leave me a comment below uh, about topics uh, that you are interested to, to hear about on this channel. And without further ado, we will start talking about rest. And for that, I will be sharing my screen. Okay, so now you see my screen and uh, I have this big curtain to open for you. The first type of rest I would like to talk about is physical. Uh, and you can distinguish uh, between passive physical rest and active physical rest. Uh, the passive ones would be sleeping, napping, relaxing, um, and actively you can do yoga, you can stretch, you can get a massage. So these are all great ways uh, to get some physical rest. Next up, we have mental rest. Very underrated, but I can't repeat that enough. Breaks throughout the day are so important to get these little pockets of, of rest during the day. Aside from that, mindfulness, journaling, um, reading fiction, maybe, uh, exercising and tidying up, decluttering your surroundings are great ways to uh, get some mental rest throughout your day. Next up, we have emotional rest. This is where the, the supportive friends and family come in to, to uh, hold you a bit with their support during uh, times that you need this kind of rest. You can also provide this type of rest to yourself by practicing self-compassion and self-acceptance. Otherwise, being authentic, sticking with your authenticity and expressing your feelings are so important to, to have this uh, space within you so that you don't feel blocked to, to hold things in. And last but not least, hugs. It has great benefits and provides immense emotional rest. Next up, we have creative rest. This is where your, your hobbies come in. Uh, like we, we talked about yesterday, you can paint, you can sing, you can dance, uh, do crafts, go to movies, uh, go to theater plays, visit galleries, um, listen to music, go to concerts, uh, be busy with, with art, humor. Humor is also uh, another version of creative rest games board games and other type of games that that you would want to play with other people those are great ways to get some creative rest and then we have sensory rest which obviously means to give some rest to our eyes ears even taste buds our our nose our sense of smell give them some some time off every once in a while. You can do that by, by meditating, by limiting your screen time, by unplugging, deconnecting from all these devices um, every, every few days or weeks, yeah, you decide on the, on the frequency of that. Avoiding distractions while you are doing focused work is also a way of um, let's say enhancing that that sensory rest and finally quiet time as well let's move on to the sixth type of rest which is social rest if you're an extrovert 
this uh, could look like going to parties for you, like having uh, also social activities, social connections, meeting with new people. If you're more of an introvert, maybe more me time, maybe Netflix and chill at home, board game nights with friends. Uh, but however that, that, that looks like for you, you need to have this uh, kind of social rest. I know it looks a bit weird that I put there the, the me time, uh, which can go under a lot of different rest types. Uh, basically, it could be mental uh, or emotional. But at times where you are socially overwhelmed, me time is something that will uh, balance that out as well. So they all belong together. You decide how to use these different types whenever you need. And finally, we have spiritual rest. With spiritual, I don't mean religious at all. Um, but we all have a spiritual side to us. And what I mean by that is this um, is this side of us that, that needs belonging, that needs to be a part of something bigger, that needs to be connected to a, a bigger picture uh, rather than being this individual in the in the whole world, right? Um, gratitude practice really helps uh, bringing a positive mindset into play. Prayer is uh, a, a spiritual rest activity if you are uh, a believer. Volunteering is um, a spiritual rest activity for some of us because it involves giving back to society, contributing to others' well-being. Knowing and living your purpose and remembering your purpose, that brings spiritual rest. When you are lost in this day-to-day this -day hustle culture, do take a moment to remember, why am I doing this? Why am I in this, in this hustle? Like, what, what does it mean for me? What is the purpose behind all of this? And finally, we have the aspect of intuition. The intuition that, that deserves to be taken seriously, that also, in my opinion, falls under spiritual uh, rest. So this was uh, the tip of the day uh, to give you lots of different ideas about seven different types of rest. And from all of these things I gave you, uh, Pick and choose what you like, what gives you energy, and do more of that. These all different types of rests are important, and we all need them in different quantities. So figure out how much of what you need and go for it. And see you tomorrow for another tip. Until then, mind your own revisions.